I am here before you to present the next leap forward in Minecraft modding and game development. I have successfully and completely multi-threaded the Minecraft client. This feat was not easy and did not come without substantial challenges. However, I persevered and completed my mission. I have created a way for Minecraft to run at a vastly improved framerate by using threads. Threads allow for the system to process multiple things at the same time, resulting in more computations per second and therefore more frames per second. Usually, the Minecraft game uses only one thread. However, over the past few weeks I have changed this and the game now utilizes as many threads as the system has available. Let's take a look at how it performs such tasks. However, a greater mystery must be answered. Am I wearing pants? Guess so guys, we'll never find out. Here we can see the default vanilla Minecraft code. It has a simple linear progression where it runs, it starts the game, and then it just kind of loops, running the game loop while, you're, while, you're, while you intend to play. However, this is inefficient as this only has one singular thread controlling everything. It has to wait for every single previous step to finish before it can proceed. Now, this is in contrast to mine, which as you can see here, first of all, prints the FPS 10 times a second, just so that we're very clear about what our FPS is here. And then it also, every single millisecond, it's gonna run the game loop again forcefully on another thread, meaning that we will be getting a minimum of a thousand frames per second provided your system can, your system has the resources. And if it doesn't have the resources for 1000 frames per second, it'll do however many it can given your CPU power. I am specifically showcasing this on Hyperion, but this works in Forge as well. There's a link in the video description to the download. Hyperion just allows me to much more easily compare the vanilla code to my changes on the video for you guys. It doesn't actually change the actual function and it is on Forge and can be on other clients. We are being powered by over 1330 FPS here as we are in our conquest to completely obliterate everyone. Um, they just, they can't even come close to me. I got a Ryzen 9 3950X, the 16 core CPU. That's giving me so many frames per second because, uh, of course, you know, the more cores you have, the more threads you can run and at once, and therefore the more frames you can get. Very, very nice. But uh, almost everyone should be able to get a thousand frames per second on this setup, which is very nice. Um, done. Done. And now we get to, uh, get to come here. This is a KB3, I think, which means I can really mess this guy up if I just, like, hit him once. Yup. You're gone. Oh, he pearled, but he still died. Oh, how about you? You next. Bye bye. Hello. No one can. No one can even come close to the skier boy right now. I don't have any. Okay, we need to have these here. Come here, buddy. I know you want it. That was a really good use of your pearl. I'm. I'm incredibly happy for you. Oh wow, he actually juke me. This guy's like actually pretty good at the game. I was gonna try to snowball that guy. All right, done, done. Let's see how many kills. We're gonna get five kills, all from hitting people into the void. I think that's pretty solid. Oh no, that guy, that guy didn't die. And we haven't gotten a single pearl. What are the what is the pearl chance for that kit when you like throw someone into the void? Is that person cheating? They look. They come at me again, bro. Uh, no. I'm trying to hit you off the edge, please. Oh, there you go. That was a pretty solid game. I think we can do another one given the fact that we have 1256, 1299 frames per second. Okay, we're just gonna prove to everyone that if you have 1321 FPS, that is an automatic and easy win. Um, we're done. Okay, cool, we did that, we did that. We did not get a chest book, that is not good. All right, not, not what we wanna see here, but it's fine. It's totally fine. We got we got some more prot armors and we're dead. Just kidding. Uh, we can never die. We could never die with this many frames. All right, that's just not possible. So look at that. That couldn't even hit me. He he saw my frame count. He's like, oh no, I gotta get out of here. Look at that. That guy too. Boom. Done. Gone. Done. Done and gone at the same time. You're dawn. Um, but not the dawn like the start of a new day. Like dawn is in like your toast. But that's fine. Uh, we have full armor. You think you can kill me? You could not be more mistaken. He's dead as well. Thank you very much for your contributions. I would love a prop four um, and a better sword, which he had. And I'll just loot like this. Thank you very much. And let's just go kill these last two people. Where are they? That person. 
Oh, I heard him behind me. I'm literally so good at this game. Okay, you're dead. Thank you very much. And you're dead as well. Let me just come down here and you're two hit. Look, like Skier can't lose when he has 1,000 frames per second. Before we can continue, we need to come clean on something. Um, this is just not how it works. This does print FPS, but that's a fake FPS number. All right, let's get in here. So this is actually not going to do anything uh, for a reason I'm about to show you. This is what's actually still running the game and which why it's necessary. This is just kind of looks cool and looks like it does something. So if we go ahead and search this method here, we can find an injection that I made where at the top of the method, I increase the FPS counter and then I check if it's calling from a different thread. And if it's not calling from the Minecraft thread, I just stop its running. So all this is doing uh, on another thread is just incrementing the FPS counter. It's not actually giving you more frames per second. Let's explain why that's not really possible. It is possible in many situations to improve frames per second and performance through multi-threading, but you cannot just multi-thread the game loop by running multiple at the same time. First of all, that would cause each thread to be at a different part, which would be, you know, you're rendering the world on one, but at the same time you're rendering the entities, at the same time you're pushing the frame buffer from the GPU to the monitor. It would just be a big mess. But what you can do is individual components that are CPU intensive, you can run those concurrently so they can be done faster if you take the necessary precautions. This is something that I did in Hyperium and Frames Plus on the particle renderer. It made it much more efficient because instead of having 10,000 particles that all get ticked one by one, it does them in batches of 100 on different threads. It allows you to have much greater performance in the updating of particles, but the rendering still has to be done on one thread, and that is just the limit of the rendering pipeline and rendering system in Minecraft. For the most part, graphics all have to be single-threaded because they work on a matrix stack, and you have to do different things. It's like, hey, I want to go to this location, then I want to rotate like this, and then move here, and then great, I want to draw a triangle here, and then I want to draw a square here, and that square is going to be red, and it's going to have this texture. And while you're doing that, you cannot do other things because the way the rendering works, you give it one instruction at a time, be like vertice here, or vertex here, vertex here, texture coordinate here, texture coordinate here, and that's how you build it. You cannot have like ver vertex, vertex, texture coordinate, vertex, texture coordinate, UV map, light map, like it all, it'll all just not work. So that's, that's kind of why that is. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you like that explanation, please leave a like. And if you didn't like it, still leave a like. Uh, it really helps me. Uh, I'll see you guys again soon.